one trip around the sun. Everyone's journey looks different. Look around and we're the only people here right now. Molly McCormick completes her yearly trek in Colorado. It's unbelievable. Where all four seasons are picture perfect. Oh, look at that view. Cliche, yeah, but when you're a wildlife photographer like Molly, and these are the views, and that, and this over here. That is a big, beautiful animal. It's hard I feel like they to resist the cheese. Have a lot of stories to tell through your eyes. That sounded really hippy-dippy, but. <laughs> yeah, spring, I mean, it essentially means life, rebirth, giving the world a new taste of Mother Nature. I really like capturing kind of the haze over there. At the time of year when Colorado wakes up. And this light is great. Molly's subjects start their day early. She joins right in. I love this guy's face. But never too close. Don't try to pet a bison. Wouldn't suggest it. If it's going to disturb the animal, if it's going to upset the animal, and it's a great shot, I just won't get it because it's not worth doing that to a species. The Rocky Mountain Arsenal National Wildlife Refuge is minutes from Denver. Having a morning chat. But a wild world away. It's a nice reminder of how spoiled I am to live in Colorado. Spoiled because spring is when a picture is worth a thousand. Oh, it's so cute how shy they are. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? Molly's not subtle about her love for foxes. That's my fox. <laughs> the signs are everywhere. His name is Todd. Do you know where that name is from? Blame the fox and the hound. And I remember specifically when I was younger watching that movie being like, I want to go out and hang out with foxes one day. Disney destiny manifested. And they're going to get super excited. Yay. It's my secret fox spot somewhere in Colorado. She keeps this spot on the down low for a reason. So many species are deteriorating before our eyes and it's purely because of humans. I'm a firm believer that if you respect the animal, it'll respect you and you'll have a better opportunity of viewing it. There's literally no place you can go in Colorado that's not gorgeous during the summer. In this area up on Mount Evans is known for mountain goats, bighorn sheep, tourists. <laughs> Solitude might be hard to find on the side of Mount Evans. There's a really tiny one up there. Wildlife is not. They're not shy. It's a little pika. Around the time spring turned to summer, Molly made a move too. I quit my job to become a full-time photographer. You know, I was working in the customer service industry and I think I just couldn't do it anymore. Um, not everyone's that friendly nowadays. Animals behave. He is just posing. While people... That one person was like five feet away from that goat. I leave an angry note on their car. <laughs> no, I'm not. Molly believes conservation and creativity can coexist. I just like to give animals space. I mean, this is their environment and I'm, I'm crashing it. This is their home. And here is Molly's. This is my adult house. This is my, I mean, look at this countertop. When she's not out with her camera. I always go back to the foxes. Molly hangs out with some other wild animals. Our dogs who own us. And her work. It's definitely my most popular shot. It's my most purchased print as well. Her photos pay the bills and so much more. I got sober August 15th, 2015. And when I got out of treatment, I was thinking, well, what am I going to do now? What, am, what do I do if I'm not going to the bar? So she picked up a camera. I was replacing the, the unhealthy habits with photography. My biggest accomplishment as of now is National Geographic. And the cool thing about this one is that it's, it's right in the foldout. And I never would have been able to reach those accomplishments if I didn't get sober. She loves the path she's on. Um, but a piece of Molly's heart is missing. Some photos of my mom and I. She got diagnosed with lung cancer at first, and it was stage one. And they found that the lung cancer had come back, and it had metastasized into her bone. This is our very last photo together, January 28th, 2019. Photos help Molly remember. This is me 
This is my mom, and then this is my partner, Bianca. Photography helps her heal. There's nowhere that I feel closer to her than being outside in nature and doing photography. You know, people always say the New Year is the time to set intentions. I think fall's a really good one because you can actually go outside and see the changes. Fall marches straight out of summer in Rocky Mountain National Park. It's cool that you get to live, <laughs> that we get to live in a state where you can see that full cycle. Molly feels the change. The elk do too. So the whole point of the elk, right, it's mating season. Listen to that bugle. Um, their one goal is to keep their ladies in line. <laughs> and the bugle is just one of, I think it's one of the coolest sounds. <laughs> it's elk tinder. <laughs> but the females are not swiping, they're just forced to swipe. <laughs> Joking aside, Molly's mission is serious. I really just want people to look at my photos and help me along with other wildlife conservationists just take the next step forward to protect these species. Because that's my passion and, you know, do it for the things that I've lost. My mom was my biggest fan, you know. Every time I see an animal, I'm like, thanks mom. I think one of the really cool things about shooting in the winter in Colorado is you can see the snow-capped mountains. We are looking for bald eagles and we see them <laughs> they're just significantly far away. Winter can be cruel. Dang it. And this day, they're here. It's true. They're just shy. No lens is long enough to capture what the heck's going on out there. This is part of being a wildlife photographer. I rarely get disappointed because I can't obviously control mother nature. They do their eagle thing. It's pretty spectacular. While Molly does hers. Some white-tailed deer. I think they're just going for a little drink. Oh, and you know what, actually? Behind them are a bunch more bald eagles. And boom. God, they're huge. The animal whisper does it again. That is so cool. It is cool to see that. Winter eventually melts into spring. Spring blooms into summer, and on and on. Yeah, I think we're fortunate to have all four seasons here. Molly's just thrilled to take the ride. Oh, see, that's the shot. <laughs>